Today we're going to talk about the fan limit control. You'll see these on oil furnaces. It's a safety that checks for a high heat situation and controls when that fan will turn off and on. The limit side of this comes from the power. It's basically like a thermostat. It's a switch normally closed. Nothing's running right now. We check with our continuity test. So we have continuity through this limit. If I check the fan side of it, So we have no continuity through the fan side of it. So from the circuit breaker, power comes into our limit, goes out of our limit. From here, it goes to power up our primary control unit. The fan side of it also works as, as a thermostat. As we can see that dial there, you can see these are labeled. We have fan and limit on the front of this. So if we watch how this works, as our furnace is heating up, this dial starts turning. Now we've hit that temperature and our meter is going. Now we've hit the other temperature where we got too hot. So if I check that high limit, I have no continuity through that. So that kills all power to the primary controller. That's gonna shut down our burners and our pumps and everything. But even though we're in a high limit situation, we still have continuity through that fan side. We have continuity through the fan side because if something bad is going on where it's too hot, we want that fan to stay running. So we break the limit side, which breaks power to the primary controller, but we keep the fan running. Now, if we look at the face of this, we can see how that was spinning. There's numbers on there. Now that that heat is shut off, it's cooling back down and this will actually reset through the limit when I hit a certain temperature whatever that's set for that looks like about 180 so when I get under 180 degrees that limit should should reset send power to our primary controller and try to start the unit again. Now, a lot of times these go bad because they're, they'll trip on a limit because there's a dirty filter. Maybe our fan motor stopped working. Maybe the airflow got shut off. So that's one of the causes that'll trip a high limit switch on a, on a furnace. You can see that that thing is resetting itself. It's starting to cool off. Never ever jump her out a limit switch. It's a safety, it's there for a reason. Senses high temperature. If someone were to jump her that thing out, that creates a dangerous situation because you've just eliminated a safety. So that thing's starting to cool down. So we've cooled down enough. Now our limit switch is made again. So now we're sending power to that primary control unit. We've even cooled off enough that our fan shut off. Oops. Must have been just a delay there. But if I turn this back, cool it off just a little bit more, you can see how that continuity opens up and the fan shuts off now the fan switch works because when we furnace first starts up 
We don't want that thing blowing cold air right away. We want that air to heat up and when it gets nice and warm, then start blowing out our registers. Same with when the furnace shuts off. We've built up all this heat inside. That's free heat that we, you know, we've paid for that already, I guess. And we're gonna use that up as long as it's hot to still come out of our registers. And once it cools off, where it's not comfortable, we're gonna shut that thing off. If we look at how this thing is made, it's got a bimetallic metal piece in there, two dissimilar metals that react with heat differently. So they're gonna warp at different rates and that's what causes that to spin. This is placed so that the bimetallic part is not in the burn chamber, but it's in the back of the furnace uh, next to it so it can still sense heat. If we look at this wiring schematic, we can see here's our incoming power. Here's our fan switch going to our fan motor. Here's our limit switch. Now this is your black wire. And that black wire is going to our primary control. So if this opens, we kill all power to our primary control. That shuts everything down. So that's kind of how that fan limit switch works.